Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. The release of Black Armory brought with it five brand new exotic weapons that we can earn, and there seems to be a little bit of confusion as to how exactly you earn all five of these weapons. So that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So first up, we have the new exotic void combat bow known as Le Monarch. This has similar traits to Thorn in Destiny 1 in the sense that whenever you shoot an enemy, it leaves a damage over time effect because the enemy is now poisoned. This thing is pretty good in Crucible and actually not terrible in PvE either. You obtain this exotic bow from completing Aizanami and Gofanon Forges. Now, if you have a powerful frame that you complete in either one of those forges, your chances of getting this thing increase dramatically. Without a powerful frame, it is an insanely low drop chance. The next exotic that we're going to take a look at is going to be the Anarchy Grenade Launcher. This thing is actually pretty cool, and from what I've seen, it's actually a boss melter, man. The way that it works is you fire grenades onto the ground, and they create an area of effect that just continuously damages enemies trapped within it. It's, it's really neat, and it's really unique. The only way to get Anarchy is to complete the brand new Scourge of the Past raid. It has a chance of dropping from the final chest after the final boss. Our next Black Armory exotic is going to be the Izanagi's Burden Exotic Sniper Rifle. This exotic sniper rifle fits in your kinetic slot and has a really interesting exotic perk. Holding down the reload button will compress all of the ammo in the magazine into a single shot. Think of this as kind of like a sniper with Celestial Nighthawk. You obtain this sniper rifle by completing the Mysterious Box exotic quest. If you don't know what that quest is, it is the one started in the the Lunder Forge in the little cave. You just walk up to a chest and open it, and you've started the quest. Our next exotic is going to be the Last Word, returning from Destiny 1. Now, this exotic is not yet in the game. The screenshot that you're looking at right now on, the, on your screen is one that I just randomly pulled off the internet. It's a fake, it's a Photoshop. This is not what the final product is going to look like. However, the real Last Word is confirmed to be coming back in Destiny 2, and the exotic quest to obtain it will drop on January 29th of 2019. And the fifth and final Black Armory exotic is going to be the exotic fusion rifle known as Jutin. Jotin? Jutin? I don't know. Regardless of how you pronounce it, this thing is pretty fun and pretty unique. It's a fusion rifle that kind of feels like a grenade launcher, but it also tracks enemies really, really well, and from what I've seen, it's a pain in the ass in the Crucible. I'm sure you've been killed by it. The only way to obtain Jotun is by completing the new Burguzia Forge. If you have a powerful frame, you have a higher chance of obtaining it. If you do not have a powerful frame, it will still drop, but the chances drop significantly, similar to La Monarque. Now, just to clarify, I can 100% verify that Jotun and La Monarque will drop from their respective forges if you do not have a powerful frame. I've actually seen it with my own two earballs, and it is 100% true. Your chances of them dropping without a powerful frame in your inventory are just very, 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 very low. And there you have it, guys. That is how you get all five of the current Black Armory exotic weapons. As I said, Last Word will become available via Exotic Quest on January 29th, and the rest are in the game right now. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Drop a comment in the box below. Let me know which one of these you are still chasing, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. But if you enjoyed this video, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and take care.